In this video, we're going to talk about the GNU Zoid, that asymmetrical carving board that comes in regular and goofy. This is a board for rip and turns on the resort and slash and pow. It's unique. It's definitely something that belongs in a quiver. It's not your everyday ride. This board features Mervin's C2X camber profile. So it's a tweak on the C2 camber profile. It's a shortened reverse section between the feet and a lengthened camber zone underfoot. This gives you more snap and less play between the feet. Basically, more pop. That's the way to break down C2X. Okay, so the Zoid has that middle of the road flex pattern that's very free ride oriented. It's soft enough to let you play where you need to, but stiff enough to allow you to charge and throw the board around. It's one of those boards with slightly softer tips and then it progressively stiffens up underfoot with a moderate amount of torsional flex to it. This board is damp yet lively. You can tell that it's absorbing chatter when you're cruising down a groomer, and when you get into uneven terrain, it never buckles or falters. It wants to just keep turning. It's one of those decks that's damp yet lively. While not the snappiest deck that I've bet on, it's got enough pop to let you launch rollers and play around just boosting off things. It's got an easy to engage camber profile so you can just load it up and snap with it when you need to. It's a little more skate style than it is traditional camber with how you pop with it, but you can still load it up and drive the board when you need to. With tight technical turns, this board was limited. It didn't matter how hard you drove the board. It didn't engage, grip them, rip them, and let you just drive through like you think you would. The long drawn out carves are where this board just shines. You can just set it on edge. It's gonna cut through the snow, the ice, the crap, and go for it. You, you can just push that tail through the apex of the carve, then transition back over and drive it again on that heel side edge, which is asymmetrical, so you can really lay it over. If you want a Euro carve with this board, you just gotta drive that back knee into the center while you're flexing that front knee a little back as well. So you're just so you're just going knock kneed and driving the board. It's one of those decks where you can really, really steer it hard and aggressively. Switch carving was not fun. That's the one downfall of this board. You look at that tail shape and you know it's not going to be fun. You can do it, but it's not the best. 100% this board belongs in a quiver. It's never going to be a quiver of one type of board. This is something for someone that wants to go out and carve, dork around with their friends, you know, rail some bank slalom turns. Maybe they're doing beer league border cross or bank slalom, you know, USASA, whatever. That's who this board's for. I liked the way this thing rode. It was super fun. It was great to get out there and just be weird with it and just make turns. You can really leverage over that heel side edge, put your arm down and just arc that carve, do what you need to do. These are the boards that are kind of in the same realm of comparison. The Solomon Ultimate Ride, the Moss Performance Quad, the Yes Optimistic, the Battalion Carver, the Snow Fisk Pucker Fisk, the Signal Yup. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're gonna get and you're going to decide where you're gonna buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below? That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below. That way you're getting a notification and I'll see you guys in another video.